The horniness epidemic nowadays has made the desire for beautiful face soaring to new heights. Everybody aspires to have a lovely face, so they can exchange hormones with anyone they like. But every attractive person has a backstory. The story of today also features a stunning young woman named Kimmy, who got railed and exploited because she happened to have a pretty face. Hi guys, welcome to Kaylee King. Today, we will be recapping the events of a horror drama movie from 2018 titled Hidden Attack from the Dead. Let's get right into it. The scene opens with Kimmy approaching her friend Tina for assistance in finding a job because she came from a low-income family. Tina used to discover attractive ladies for modeling purposes. She proposed Kimmy to apply for this job and told her that she was very beautiful and could make a lot of money in this industry. Kimmy decided to give modeling a shot after the discussion as she found it to be sufficiently compelling. The very next day Kimmy went to an office of an advertisement company for an interview on the suggestion of Tina. Though Kimmy was a fresher, she was confident and was ready to work hard in order to excel in modeling. Few minutes later, a guy named Zen entered to take her interview. Before the audition, he told her that because of her beauty she was a good fit for the job. He assured her that he was ready to take her audition. He told her that the recoding will be sent to his boss for confirmation. Following this, he mentioned that if the boss liked her interview, they will begin the work from the next day itself. Right after the conversation, Zen began to take her audition to send it to his boss. Kimmy was extremely happy after giving her first audition, but Zen was even happier by looking at her beauty. The villain of this story was a bit psycho. He was fond of killing men and then raping their corpse. After this, he used to remove all their clothes and covered them in a blanket before burying them. This guy's name was Leo and he was a murderer of many men. The other day for photo shoot, Kimmy and Zen went to a quiet place. It was Zen's guest house. While waiting for the team to arrive, Kimmy was exploring the area. She became alarmed when she saw that there was a lot of blood on the ground. She attempted to inform Zen of the same thing. However, the blood had disappeared when she turned back to confirm it. She was unable to respond when Zen questioned her about it. Subsequently, she saw a man standing at a distance but he also disappeared in seconds. She was not able to understand anything. The team showed up after a while. With the exception of Jackie, the cameraman, the entire crew departed after putting up the camera. Subsequently, she saw another man, who was none other than Leo. Kimmy was astonished to see that the cameraman had turned on the camera as soon as he walked in. When she questioned Zen about what was going on, he told her straight away that his younger brother Leo was going to rape her and that it would be caught on camera. In addition, he informed her that they were taking on this task for the first time in order to profit greatly from the sale of the video. It was the first time a female would be sexually assaulted in their guest home. Leo attacked her as soon as he had finished his sentence. To prevent her from protesting, he first tied her up. After that, he undressed and sexually assaulted her. Jackie was working, and Zen was silently observing his brother. Since Leo used to use Zen's guest house for his mischievous deeds, Zen knew everything there was to know about Leo, including his murderous spree. Zen was still looking at his brother when Jackie became alarmed as he noticed a boy standing close to the glass. Zen asked him to do his work properly after noticing that he was distracted. Jackie obeyed him silently. In the meantime, the boy vanished out of the window as well. Kimmy was being raped by Leo. Amidst all of this, she noticed a boy standing close to the gate. Zen looked in the same direction, but he saw no one. Zen was informed by Jackie that he had seen a boy by the window when they had left the guest home. Zen totally trusted Jackie and started seeking for the boy with Leo. They tied Kimmy on a chair before they left in order to prevent her from escaping. While searching for the guy, they reached the backside where Zen saw blood on the ground. While he was looking at the ground, some drops fell on his neck. He saw up and to his surprise, there was a boy. He was scared to his wits, but before he could ask Leo to see, the boy disappeared. Kimmy, on the other hand, could hear strange sounds. A boy burst into the space. He was a ghost and informed Kimmy that all the spirits were awake as a result of her coming. Jackie arrived after his disappearance to look at Kimmy's condition. Kimmy tried and was successful in trapping him with nice talk in order to save herself. He opened one of her hands. She tried to flee as soon as he did this and gave him a heavy hit. She tried to go home, but in the middle, Zen grabbed her and struck her. After waking up she found herself tied in the same place from where she tried to run. On her one side Zen was sitting, while on the other Leo was hitting Jackie to teach him a lesson. Jackie opened her arm and Leo was punishing him for the same. Zen then revealed to Kimmy that Leo had been harassed by some men when he was 10 years old. He totally transformed and started detesting guys after that encounter. He detested men to the core even now. Zen informed her that Leo continued to kill a man every week and then 
corpse in order to get himself back under control. This information about Leo's life stunned Kimmy. Zen later asked Jackie to go and forgave him. Jackie went outdoors and made the decision to return home. He heard a noise while traveling, and as soon as he turned to look in that direction, he saw something and let out a loud cry. His voice was also heard by Zen, Kimmy, and Leo. Leo discovered three dead bodies when he went outdoors to look for Jackie. Two of these were of Zen's teammates, while the other one was of Jackie. They were the same folks who came to set up the photo session. However, the ghosts killed them before they could get away. Leo hurried inside to tell Zen everything since he was so terrified. They both sought to flee after hearing the truth and took Kimmy with them. Zen became very afraid following Jackie's passing as he had already seen one ghost. As they arrived at their cars with Kimmy, they realized that in their haste, they had forgotten their keys inside the guest house. Zen ordered Leo to bring them, he accepted the command and went for the same. After he left, Zen saw many ghosts near him. They were all of the same boys whom Leo used to torture and kill before ripping their corpse. Zen was absolutely terrified because of the ghosts. Due to this he ran and took Kimmy in the guest house. As they reached, he opened her arms as soon as possible so that she could save herself. He ran outside even though Kimmy tried to stop him. When she looked out of the window, she saw Leo being surrounded by many ghosts. They scratched him to death in front of her eyes. Zen, who was trying to escape, was also caught by the ghosts on his way and was killed in the same way. Kimmy was the only survivor. She turned around to find a multitude of spirits in front of her. They approached her slowly at first, caught her, and then proceeded to her. They were all in queue to her because they all wanted to do it. They all sexually assaulted her before killing her in the end. The spirits were aroused because it was the first time a woman had been to the guest home. It was Kimmy, and ghosts had taken over the guest house following her demise. That was it for the recap guys. Let us know in the comments if you like it. Subscribe so you never miss out on our future uploads. Thanks for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video.